Hi, Richard Mews here again. Uh, I'm now at the HMO, and this HMO is two miles west of Durham, right next to an industrial estate, good location, and it is not let to students, it's let to professional tenants. And the owner uh, lives abroad, asked me to have a look, she's looking to sell it, and looks from what I've seen so far, it's a very impressive building, purpose built, detached, and now I'm going to go inside, have a have a good look around. I'm on the outskirts of Durham today, looking at the HMO, and I'm going to take you on a on a video tour, uh, and internally and externally. Uh, so here we go. You can see the outside of the property. This is an 11 bed HMO, and it's situated two mile west of Durham. Uh, very well located. And believe it or not, it's not a student accommodation, it is for uh, professionals. Right next to uh, a major industrial estate. Now, at the moment, it's nearly all uh, let. There's one or two rooms that are empty because a new agent's just took over. But what I can see so far, I'm very impressed. And you've got to look on the top, you see solar panels on. Now, that's a, that's a great start. So, uh, look, I'm going to go right through the property uh, join all these videos together and uh, we'll come back to you later here we are communal kitchen uh, this is in excellent condition as you can see very well fitted out modern breakfast bar got the oven in the hall microwave and even a television. So this is as nice as it comes. You see we've got all the fire blankets, the fridge freezer, the view out. Now just as I said before, you can see straight ahead, uh, this is the industrial estate. You can see the living uh, combination. We have got a, uh, one of the tenants watching the television in the lounge area which is excellent really really nice this is one of the uh, rooms without an ensuite see it's got wi-fi television uh, really really spacious i'm honest i don't think i've seen uh, the nature was good as this Just go and have a look at the communal areas on the first floor. Just Here we have another living room, that's quite nice. On the first floor now, and there's another kitchen. Uh, so I wasn't told what exactly was available. This is a massive uh, kitchen because of the one units. Really, really nice, top quality. Good as I've seen. See the view. You can see the again. All the factory units. Quite a big industrial estate and offices. This is quite a nice. Very nice, actually, uh, HMO. So we'll carry on. This floor, as far as I'm aware, I haven't been able to get any keys that fit into the rooms. But the shared, the shared bathrooms, we've got another uh, fridge space there, washers, tumblers. So everything provided, I assume, that this is the, the shared bathroom which you can see the push bike in it is very very nice very nice and i can see this being really good to attract tenants now i know on the first floor sorry the ground floor and the second floor these are all on suite unfortunately 
I think the access to them to the end. But I will post another video later on uh, showing that, showing these rooms, the vacant ones. But uh, I'm really impressed. See some HMOs that are really quite dingy and not to a very good standard. This is to a really nice standard, really nice. Uh, obviously I want to see the rooms, but I am told they're very good as well. And I'm sure we'll have no problem finding a buyer for this. Hi, it's Richard Muse here. As you've seen, I've just put a post on Facebook uh, uh, of some properties I'm going to see. Uh, first one was in Ushamua. I've just been to see it, uh, seen the vendor's agent. Now, this was supposed to be BMV, uh, but it's turned out, you know, we only got the inquiry last night and the vendor can't afford to sell uh, below the value. And he's, he's spent a bit of money on it and uh, in fact he's tried to sell it a couple of times had no takers and it will really struggle uh, not a not a good buy in the view that he he paid too much for it and then did the work and and now it sits at a, such a high level that he can't really get his money back in the short term so uh not a bmv but i've explained to, uh, about a lease option and this is a, a strong possibility They've also tried to let it once and thought, right, we don't want to do that. Uh, but they're very, very keen to hear more about this. So later today, I'm going to send them the copies of the agreements that we do, the legal agreements, and also the the main points of what the uh, option entails. In this case, the monthly amount payable, uh, what they're liable for, what they're not liable for and uh, the option price so uh, we'll set the price you know a little bit higher than uh, than the money that they've spent on it so uh, it will protect the investment and then we'll get it back the beauty of the uh, of the of the property as well it's it's in a decent area just out in a, one of the villages just outside durham city so uh, it, it will uh, it will be attractive to one of our lease option investors. I'll keep you posted.